Hi Air Signs, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning into your weekly reading. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And we're going to look at the messages coming up for you for the week ahead. So um, we'll see what's coming up in the cards. Um, before I begin, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would be amazing. And also, if you did want a private reading with me, please feel free to reach out. Um, anyone wanting to become a channel member, you're going to get access to extended readings and member-only tarot content. Feel free to sign up via the join button on my homepage. Otherwise, let's kick this off and see what's coming up for air signs. Let's see what's coming up for you in, in the week ahead. Okay, we've got a Leo Cancer and Capricorn that's coming through. So I feel like this person's going to be pretty important. Okay, Gemini has come up as well. You might be dealing with a Gemini. Um, this is really auspicious. Two of Cups and the Lovers. Okay, some of you have... A kind of connection or it could be two separate connections coming up I'm seeing we've got twin flame soulmate vibes here so some of you could be choosing between two different people I feel like one could be around the past it's potentially around a past toxic kind of person um, and then we have like someone that you've been waiting for so I feel like there's a bit of confusion and what's sort of centering the reading is that moon so I feel like there's some confusion around the person that you're wanting to choose and why. Okay, your judgment's all over the place. Air signs, you really just don't want to be alone at this point, okay? I'm seeing that a lot of you have been feeling really emotional. We've got the moon, so emotions are like up and down. Um, and I feel like there's a lot that you're sort of thinking over. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with the choices that you've made in the past, either about the people that you've seen, the relationships that you chose to stay in. Like, I just feel like you're doing a lot of thinking about the decisions that you made. And I feel like right now you're not in a good place to choose because your judgment is reversed. So it's telling me your emotions are in overdrive and it's not letting you make a decision or it's like you're not seeing things as clearly as you should be. I think a lot of it has to do with the Hermit Reverse. This is Virgo energy. And Virgo is ruled by the same planet as Gemini. So we've got Mercury and this is communication. So I feel like some of it's coming up upright. Others times it's coming up reversed. But I feel like the Hermit is a figure of solitude and he's reversed here. So air signs, I feel like... A lot of you are at a time in your life where you don't want to be alone or you're finding like, wow, okay, life is boring since I haven't been with my ex. Like I want to go out there. I want to do things. I want someone to come home to. I want to be silly with that person. You know, I want to make love to that person every night. Like you're starting to notice how different your life is. And I feel like for a lot of you, it's only hitting you now. Um, I do feel like there's two important connections and I do think one of which is toxic with the devil card. You obviously have a strong attraction to this person or there's just something that's super magnetic about them and they pull you back in every time and they might not be the healthiest person for you, but they know how to hook you in uh, and this person could be coming back up. But I also feel like it's the temperance is like you've been waiting on someone's communication or this kind of new person to come into your life and lo and lo and behold they're coming up so this is why i get that you're super confused and you can't make a decision but you can't sit on the fence either it's not fair to play both sides here air signs so you have to think about this could be a leo sag cancer we've got capri uh, Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo that are coming up around you. The two of pentacles, you wouldn't be able to handle two relationships right now anyway. Gemini's maybe, because they're ruled by the twins. Okay, they're the multitasker of the zodiac. Possibly, okay. Um, but I don't think that's what you're wanting. I feel like you have your defenses up for both connections. Notice these two watchtowers. So makes me feel like okay you've you you're you're putting both of these people through t through a test or like you're you're sort of comparing them so you might be sort of keeping in touch with both 
but I feel like your intuition is telling you to lean more towards one than the other for some reason. And I feel the one that truly cares for you, they're going to show it to you. Um, and whatever that means, you know, they're going to reach out or they're going to tell you they still care or they're going to take some sort of action to show you that despite everything, this person still cares about you. It's the one that's sort of going to show up here for you. And I feel like it's something more that they'll do rather than say. And that's going to help you sort of make a decision because I think you're on the fence right now. And I think you're sort of watching and waiting to see who strikes first, who takes initiative, you know, who does the thing that will show you that this person cares for you. So it's almost like, not that you're sitting back because I feel like you are at a point in your life where you do want love and you feel like you could find it with one of these people, but it's more like who's going to be the one for you. And it brings you like flexibility, right? Like it sounds like you have the choice in this in this scenario, which is good. So the ball's in your court here to decide who is the one um, that you're going to choose. I do feel like um, like a sexual conversation may happen here or a conversation about your past. So it's either someone's maybe going to ask you about your sexual history. You know, this might be this new person sniffing out the goods. Okay, how many people have you been with? When was the last your, your last relationship? But I feel like it's more intimate and personal questions because the devil is here. Uh, and I feel like they're coming from a place because they care. The moon card is here. So I feel like they care, but the, there could also be an instance where they grow a little bit jealous to know that, you know, maybe you've been with a lot of girls or guys, or you get a lot of attention, or you've done a lot in your previous relationship. So they're like, wow, okay, they may become jealous, but they're, they're probably not going to show you that because they don't want to scare you off. So they're going to try to like, probably like they'll be seething inside right they've got you know you know in the cartoons how you see like the the character has like steam coming out of their ears I feel like it's that kind of situation but they're trying to be super cool calm and collected and not let you know that it phases them but deep down it does and that's because they're coming from a place of care air signs you know we need to remember that um in this situation Or they'll try to work through it, the temperance, like even if they've got jealousy issues or whatever they're trying to find out about you, I get a sense that they're going to try. Yeah, that they'll try and work through these things um, and not really let it get to them. But, you know, it's not going to be easy. I feel like instinct and intuition is going to be really screaming out at you, telling you which person to go for and which connection is better for you. But I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you have this new person and someone from your past or someone that you've had some sort of emotional attachment with. Maybe you haven't been in a relationship together, but maybe you used to be friends. Maybe you used to have a crush on each other. Maybe your families were really good friends once upon a time. Like... There's something that links and binds you to this person already emotionally. So I feel like that's coming up for a significant reason. I'm going to leave it there though. So thank you everyone for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That would be great. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you very soon. So thanks again, everyone. Lots of love and bye for now.